Hi. This is a very, very dumb idea. Like, this is probably the dumbest thing I could be doing. <laughs> so, if anyone's not in the know, Casio Mario World is really freaking hard. But it looks cool and I wanted to try it and it looks cool that that's got interesting music and here we here we are hello to Kesenstein. hope you guys are doing okay so uh shout outs to Kezcade for giving me a save file with you know seven exits done <laughs> because goodness knows i'm not gonna get any done myself but i figure we're gonna start with the first level is there a chance we could actually do it i don't know probably not but what the heck? Why don't we... Why don't we see what happened? Oh, this is a terrible idea. Oh, what is this? Select, press start, select, return. Checkpoints won't be lost. That's handy. Alright. So you have the training room, and then the reeling is the first level, I believe. What does the training room have? Because I haven't seen this. Mario falls fast when the jump button's released, and falls slowly and bounces high off of enemies when it's held. Yes. Oh, I, I picked save file B, Kez. I figure I'm going to start with the first level anyway, so why don't we just see how I go? You know, if I happen to beat it, <laughs> we've got to... <laughs> you know? <laughs> Holding on the jump button when collecting the purple coins, releasing when collecting the grey ones. Yeah, this is pretty new stun. This came out, I think, earlier this month. So we can go, alright. Yeah, exactly, I know. It's a big Keck W. Was it not started this month? No, maybe not. I don't know. How does that work? Oh, wait, I get it. Hang on. We probably want to go like this. Yeah. Okay, cool. This is a good tutorial. And then we want to... Oh, we want to do like a, a little jump. That wasn't a little jump. Maybe we could do a spin jump instead? Hang on. Yeah, Kez, Kez's save is still there. So we go like that. Basic Kaizo mechanics. Okay, so I, I feel like a spin jump would probably work here. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, now we're getting into... Alright, um... Oh, God. <laughs> so I assume that's the end of that up here, right? Yeah, so we... We could do... That's fine. Basic mechanics. And that's... Oh, God. I see why this is problematic, yes. It's nice that they have a little tutorial, though. Yeah, right? I was about to say, like... <laughs> this is, like, the hardest... Like, the, one of the hardest Kaizo hacks, and it's like, here, learn how to, learn how to do basic jumps. And also, here's really difficult stuff, right? So then we, okay, that's a re-grab, yeah. Nearly had it. I mean, I, I've kind of got the gist of re-grabs. That's l like that, exactly, right? When, it's not really pick a path, because this just loops back around. Like, this was where we died earlier. So this is just a shortcut to get up here. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, right? I, I completely agree, Kez. Like, is that not a re-grab? Am I not doing that right? Ah, keep forgetting. This isn't even level one. This is the this is the tutorial room. There we go. Wait, what? So they want me to let go, like right at the start of the jump? Is this a spin jump situation or a normal jump situation? I feel like this would be a spin jump situation. 
Oh, that feels right though. Hmm. No. If I'm playing, I should know. Too bad I don't. <laughs> It is just a regrab, but like you're not bouncing off of anything. Ah. Whoops. Yeah, I kind of figured that might be the case, but at least all the regrabs I've ever done have been like after bouncing off something. But that makes sense. Oh, is it? Is it like that weird jump you have to get up to that platform on the- I can't remember how to describe it. There's like one big jump you have to do, right? After you change the spikes a couple times. And we get the idea. Let's look- <laughs> What could go wrong? Let's try level one. Here we go. Hello, Kaizo 1 reference, probably. Okay, how do we even start this? I feel like that's the right idea. Yeah, exactly. And again, that's the thing with how playing Kaizo is incredibly different to watching it. At least this song's a bop. How do jump? What if we go back here? Yeah, I can imagine. I don't either. <laughs> so I feel like we kind of- because they track us, right? So we kind of want to... Oh, maybe that's the idea. Hang on. Aha! No, I don't, Stun. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but I don't got this, I promise you. For reference, I'm not taking this, like, seriously. I'm not actually gonna do this as my next hack. I just wanted to <laughs> see if I could even remotely make some semblance of progress. It's not gonna happen, but, you know, we can pretend, right? I know you would. I know you would, exactly. But it is, it's cool, I'll tell you that. It's definitely cool. It's just a shame it's really bloody hard. I think that's the right idea, right? We get them to go that way, and then we have to quickly go back to the right so we can bounce off them, I'm guessing. But that doesn't, doesn't quite... Ah, see, I had it before, like, I circled them around me a couple times. I don't know how I did that. Yeah, do that, Kez. Please do. <laughs> I'm probably doing this. What if we do... Could we spin jump on them? I don't know why we would, because I assume we need them to get across over there. Yep, you, you guys go right ahead. Yeah, like... Because we want them to jump high so that bottom one goes over us, right? Unless we want to do that. Maybe that's better. Hmm. All right. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, no, I, I know, Kenz, I know. Hey, look, I did it somehow. Ah, uh, no, I killed them all. All right. See, I figured you had to go. I don't know. So we want to go like... Hmm. How did I even... How did I do that? How did I do that?
I don't know how I did that, but I did it somehow. I know I went to the right first. Is it just a timing thing? It was something like that, wasn't it? Hmm. No, maybe not. Starting from the right is the big brain strat? But is it the right strat? <laughs> I mean, you probably do. <laughs> it's fine, you don't have to tell me. Hey, look, it just magically worked again. All right, let's go. Oh, nope. No, and I wouldn't expect you to. Ah. Yeah, it just works, right? Imagine that. So we kind of, I think it depends when we jump that first, like that jump, that we, that first jump we do. It kind of sets their trajectory, like especially the top ones. I don't know. It's very specific. Yeah, I can see that. It, yeah, definitely. Hmm. Yeah, right? I can tell. I can absolutely tell. Like, if we can get... Maybe we want to get... Like, because my first thought was like, do we want to get underneath them at the start? Because then they sort of loop around and we can jump up that way. Like that, but then they just kind of get us. Yeah, hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I did it, those two times, but it just kind of happened. I did it again. Don't know how. Could not tell you how. Ooh, and I still can't quite get over there. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, wow. <laughs> it's because I held left and jumped? I don't know. I don't know what holding left has to do with it, considering this is the edge of the screen anyway. See, like, that almost gets it. Well, it's not about aggroing the cannons, they're gonna fire anyway. Unless you mean, like, having where the bullets go, because that is rather important. <laughs> Yeah, no, I can tell it's not. Like, I'm wondering, like, what even... How you would get a consistent setup off of this, but it's clearly possible. There's some... Series of inputs that magically makes this work, and I couldn't tell you what they are. But I do feel like going right first... It seems like we've had more success that way. I don't know. It involves bullet manipulation. Yeah, you gotta do something to get them to move the right way. Like that? Like I was up in the center when they came out and then they saw, hmm. If we go, no, cause they still, hmm. This is so weird. What a weird first obstacle. <laughs> Hold left, watch them shoot and jump. No. Yeah, I got no idea. Hmm. It does. It seems like it would be simple, but this is Casio. Nothing is simple. H how long did you take on this level, Kez? On this first level, actually? Because I wasn't there to see you beat this one. Two hours. Oh, wow. Okay.
This is an easy... I know, it probably is, right? <laughs> Let's give this till the 20-minute mark, then maybe we'll take a look at some of the other stuff. I don't know. For Casio, it's easy? Well... It's not saying much, really, is it? <laughs> And Red Switch was easy, really. Because you were on Red Switch for a little while. I didn't quite- I didn't see you beat that one either. Was the second half not too bad? Three hours, okay. Or was it- was there a checkpoint on it actually? Or was it all just one thing? Beat it the next day within a couple minutes, nice. There was no checkpoint, okay. Hmm. Yeah, the quick restart is nice. Yeah, you don't have to hit, um, retry every time, it just does it for you. And then you can just hit start select to exit out, which is, which is good, I think that's a good way to do it. Uh, how do you mean, Kez? Does it just, like, taking out the, the retry menu and just doing it, or something? Ah, oh, I get you. Yeah, right. So this is the very short form version of try the same thing over and over again until it works. <laughs> By that I mean each death is like, you know, a couple seconds. <laughs> I still have no idea how I got it those couple of times. Is it just... Like, is it just timing the jump? Is that all it is? I don't think so. Spin jump. Nope. Yeah, Grand Prix World 2 has it. The beginning of the chain jump level is similar. Okay. Oh, that's right, there's those bouncing chain chomps, you just kind of have to find the right time to run under them, don't you? I'm just sitting here with a flummoxed expression on my face right now. Some people prefer the prompt. I, I feel like without the prompt would be better, you know. How to jump higher. Hey look, I did it again, somehow. Oh, I still can't make it to the pipe though. <laughs> yeah, but see Kez, the problem is I don't know how I did that. <laughs> just do it, right? That's all you gotta do, just do it. What's the problem? There's obviously some trick to this that I'm not seeing, but I have no idea what it would be. Uh, probably both, to be honest. Also, he's right here and can, you know, see what you're saying. So, there we go. Easy, right? Well, thanks for just giving it away, man. That's so specific, but it just kind of works.
Hmm. Then we have to get him in the right spot. Hey! Now oh, we probably need him again, huh? And then, oh god, it's a chuck. <laughs> Damn, do we need all the bullets again? Like, hmm. So we can bounce off those guys. Ooh, nope. It is a nice bop, I do agree. This is cool. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> I guess you guys can come along too if you want. <laughs> hey, she figured out the, the trick with the bullet bills. That's cool. Good on her for that. <laughs> and he's like, hey man, what you doing over there? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not obvious. It's not obvious at all that that's... It just kind of works. It's super weird. Ah! Okay, so we need to... As soon as we bounce off him, we need to hold... We need to hold right, basically. Hey, Zodiac! What's going on, man? Cares? No. <laughs> Stun, don't say that or he'll, he'll do it. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> Kez has trained me well, that's... Uh, I don't know about that. If, if he trained me well, I wouldn't be playing this right now. <laughs> Okay, so you have to bounce off at a certain point, too. <laughs> I, he's already got- he's so good! Totally didn't borrow your save file. No, sir. No, oh, never. How do? That's a weird jump. Of course it's a one-tile gap. Hmm. Fair point. <laughs> Fair point. Do I want more bullet friends? I don't know. Like, do we want, want them to fire more? Maybe. It would help if I jumped off the ledge, though. Hey, okay. Uh, let's go, buddy. All right. <laughs> yeah, I know. That shouldn't have worked. <laughs> That's probably not how you're supposed to do it, huh? Do a mid-air. There's no shells. I can't do a mid-air.
Yeah, whatever works, right? Do a mid-air anyway. Oh, yes, of course. I'll get right on that. Yeah, see, when they bunch up like that, I don't know if that's the best thing, because then you kind of just end up bouncing off of all of them at the same time, which doesn't really work because you need another one to get up to the ledge. Hmm. That's true, I don't see you doing any mid-airs, Kez. you do that? That's so weird. <laughs> maybe you want to be... How do I explain? Like, maybe you want to be on, like, really close to the, to the wall of the pipe when you bounce off so that you can kind of just hold right and get up there? I don't know. But I don't think you can jump that far, right? Well, maybe you can. Yeah, you can. Okay, so then we need to find a way to get them in the right spot. Which I don't know if that's possible looking at that. bunched up again. Oh, that kind of worked, though. Or, my thinking is you want to sort of... There has, there'd have to be a really specific lineup where you just have the right angle so that you um, just fit into the gap, you know? <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it other than that. Either one of those things, I think. We'll call it in three minutes. We'll, we'll move on to another level, because... I wasn't expecting to actually, you know, make any progress on this. <laughs> Yo, nice blank space pyramid, I approve. Obviously there's just a Kaizo block here, right, that just gets you up there? Obviously that's it, right? Nah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Ah! Yeah, no, I haven't spotted any either. Hey, alright. Okay, so he's gonna jump out that way. Oh, God. <laughs> Too many precise things in a row. Oh, God. Yeah, I know, imagine. <laughs> Yeah, would you believe it, right? Imagine this hack being hard. Yeah, they're all bunched up again. Oh, maybe you don't get all of them. Yeah, it's so weird, right? No! <laughs> hmm. Well, give us a couple more goes and then yeah, let's try try some other levels and probably die just as much. In fact, almost certain in fact definitely die just as much. But you know, it's fine. 
Again, disclaimer for anybody new watching, this is not an actual attempt. I'm doing this basically as a joke, because I don't know. I wanted to see if I could make any semblance of progress in this hack. <laughs> the answer, of course, was no. We can make it. No, we can't make it. <laughs> I made it to the chuck at least. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Just warming up in a sense. If I had enough time and patience, maybe we could start to figure this out. But, oh, uh, alright. Half an hour, that's fine. Let's, uh, I need the reset button. It's gonna be this. Yeah, nah, I agree. I would want to play other stuff first. Alright. Seven exits in half an hour? This guy's crazy! Alright. So this is where, this is where the start is. So this is the first level. Yeah. So then at this point you have a choice to go left or right. And as far as I know, you can just go here first, is that correct? Like, you could just go here after the first level if you wanted. But then you get stuck here by, um, needing the blue Switch Palace. Let's see this. By fire, what's this one? Ah, the chain jumps. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Good. That seemed promising. Maybe. Hmm. Well, this is strange, isn't it? I wonder if this is just a hold right at the right time thing. I bet it is. See? Nearly made it, right? <laughs> That's abs- it's absolutely just a hold right at the right time thing. Oh, Stun, you think this is bad? You- you ain't seen some of the other nonsense, trust me. How did I- I don't know, I- it must just be- If we- after two bounces of the chain chomps, kind of seems like... Maybe? Hmm. No, they get you. I feel like one and a half bounces. No. Well, no, I mean, there's, there's some times where you have to, you know, go left. Not very often, but... What if we just hold right? I like how holding right almost works. <laughs> if you just hold right and run, it just almost works. That's hilarious. No, I didn't, I didn't think that was a hint. Oh, okay. I see. I did it. <laughs> How? I don't know. <laughs> this, this game's dumb, dude. What is this? Then we have to bounce off them, of course. I didn't know that. Again, the music's cool. You have an epic gamer tip? Go for it. I like epic gamer tips. Ah, oh, well, I tried. I think I might see what we need to do, though. Almost. gets really close that way, too. Yes, visual cues. I, yeah. Absolutely. Like, I'm, I'm like, counting the number of bounces of the chain chomps sort of thing. Oh, I can't even get to the pipe, though. Too early.
Ah, okay. <laughs> ah. You move to the left, crouch for a half second, then hold right. Really? Oh, yeah. Like that sort of thing, almost? That almost worked. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Press down or just do it. All the way to the left? Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Too long of a crouch. Okay, so it's like an itty bitty crouch. Oh yeah, look at that. Ah, I got scared. Learning left rights? I can see that. Regrab this. <laughs> yeah, it's like a <laughs> it's like a teeny tiny crouch, but it kind of worked, didn't it? Kiss no. Oh yeah, look at that. Ah. That actually feels kind of consistent, yeah. Yeah! Nice, thank you for the pro strat, Kez. It works if a noob like me can do it. That's how you, that's how you know it works, if I can do it. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. How did I get to the pipe that one time? Oh. Absolutely, yeah. Because you're not going to figure out what to do next if you just get stuck on the starting stuff every time. Exactly, yeah. get there. I did it that one time. Yeah, I can see why the blue switch palace was problematic, because, like, it seemed really inconsistent with, like, how the block worked. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't work. I'm jump. Am I jumping too early? Do we have to wait on that pipe for a second? I think we do. Aha. Ah, okay. I wouldn't quite go to that extent. I wasn't sure if that was a normal jump or a spin jump on that on that Koopa we died at. It's probably a normal jump we have to re-grab. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I forgot I'm the greatest Kaizo player ever and got seven exits in half an hour. Yeah. I'm, ba I'm basically Miyamoto, yeah. Hey, I never said I don't like Kaizo. I just haven't played much of it. 
I've been watching this Kez nerd for over a year, so I'm pretty sure I'm alright with Kaizo. That's why this game's so interesting. You've seen a few different strats for certain tricks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is really cool about it, isn't it? It's like you're gonna have a different way to do some of this, some of these different, uh, like, just weird things like this chain jump thing. People are gonna have different ways to work that out. And probably the chuck thing in that water level too. Stuff like that, you know? And that's really cool. Oh, what? Yeah, can confirm Kez is a cool guy, Stun. You should check him out. One stream, but I'm out of here. This guy sucks. <laughs> People leave. <laughs> ah, I can't do this anymore. Come on. Ah. Get into that pipe. I don't know. I feel like I've got kind of the right idea with it. But it just seems like... I don't know how I met... I don't quite know how I'm getting it each time. But I just kind of am, I guess. Oh yes, we will get to that in a moment. doesn't have to host me, it's fine. <laughs> wow, got me. You know what, that's fair enough. Ah, okay, hold the jump on that for the whole thing. That didn't work, nope. Give us a few more goes. Then let's move on. Gotta remember, we stopped there for a sec. Ah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Especially when I can get to that part. Okay, so... Really? That didn't work? Like, I felt like I was not holding the jump for very long at all. <laughs> that didn't work. Nope. Ah, come on now. Damn it. Didn't need to double back there, don't know why I did. Ah, that was different, why did that not work? I uh, forgot to stop again. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, QQC, right? <laughs> Clearly, the the best the best the best hack for beginners, Casio, right? Easy, easy. That's why I'm here. I want to learn how to play Kaizo. So let's let's play Casio, right? What's the problem? Will it? <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, 
it was sarcastic stunt. <laughs> but also, I wouldn't say I don't do Kaizo, I just haven't done much of it yet. Yeah, I played through Cookie 1 and 2, and had a lot of fun doing so. I probably will get back to, you know, other proper hacks at some stage. I was thinking of doing either Melus World or maybe Akagare next. We'll see. Ah. Can't do this anymore. Alright, let's let's go somewhere else, shall we? Alright, um. Oh yeah, you got your big old hack list, that's right. I should look at that. Alright, sleep dealer. Everybody get your breathing ready. Piper 6, yeah, I'll get right on that. So we have penguins. Yeah, I hear Akagari is a good one. I think I see what's going on here. Thank you, Kez. So I'm trying to get momentum, like... Oh, can we just do this? Hang on. Fall again. Start over. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. I feel like that's gonna work. Aha! And then we have to... Oh god, okay. <laughs> Come on. I like that we can just kind of bounce around at the bottom there. Whee! Whee! That's fun. They're the worst sprite ever. <laughs> Do you mean in terms of looks, or in terms of functionality, or what? <laughs> functionality? Yeah, I can understand that. I mean, they... They weren't even in the vanilla Super Mario World, were they? This is a custom thing, right? Or maybe I'm just misremembering. They're from Yoshi's Island, yeah, but I mean, they weren't in, like, vanilla, you know, Super Mario World, right? Yoshi's Island, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think they were. Yeah, they were in Yoshi's Island, I remember. <sighs> Would be good if I could press the jump button at the right time, wouldn't it? The one where you press Z and A between jumps? Funny, because I don't think a SNES controller has a Z button. I might be mistaken. <laughs> yeah, we have to kind of wait for this guy to walk where we want him. Damn, that, you have no time on that. Oh, spin jump. You know, you could have just said spin jump. You're talking about, are you talking about uh, motor skills, Stun? Oh, this might be, this might be a spin jump situation up here. What? We hit the muncher every time, right? Like chain reaction, yeah. Ah, timing. I've heard that's a good one. I've seen a little bit of I've seen a little bit of it. I can't say I remember much of it. How 
How in the world? I'm very confused. <laughs> Kex, yeah. How? Okay, I guess we just have to... Good... Uh, what? <laughs> I'm very lost on this one. I feel like this is just a matter of timing our, I assume, spin jump. Yeah, like that. I assume that's what has to happen. But maybe we won't even go far enough with a spin jump, I don't know. Will I get out of here? No. Of course not. Because a regular jump is definitely going to make us go too high, right? <laughs> Please. I just want to get to this guy. No! Hmm. Thank you for not jumping. Kaiser Ball Z. Yeah, right. <sighs> yeah, I wish it was that easy, right? It's It has to be just a matter of when we jump. Yeah, that... <sighs> and I don't think a re-grab is going to change that with a spin jump there. I don't think that's going to get us far enough, unless I just... It's also entirely possible that I just have no idea what I'm talking about. Which is probably the more likely thing. Maybe it will work with a really good re-grab? Oh, that's right, Sweet Dude made chain reaction, didn't he? Yeah, he knows his stuff, for sure. Hmm, okay, I see. There's a, uh, saw blade over there. Well, I think that answers my question, doesn't it? It has to be a spin jump, then. But how? It has- it just has to be a timing thing, that's all it can be. But, <laughs> if there's a timing, I can't say I'm seeing it right now. Please be on the other side, sir. I need you to move over a bit, thank you. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> touch nothing? No, I touched, um... I hit one of the munches on the ceiling, I think. I am so lost on this. <laughs> like how? How in the world? Well, here's a question I have. Do I want to be against the wall? Or do I want to... I don't know why that would change anything, but... It is a nice wall. You're not wrong. Well, okay, I guess better question. Does it actually make a difference if I'm against the wall or not? I would guess probably not. No, I didn't think so. See, like, that's... Like, that's the right idea. I can't... Do we want to, like, make it so we bounce off that guy? No, because he's moving around. That wouldn't be consistent. We want to get onto that Galoomba up there, surely. But 
So, I'm guessing there's some angle where we can, yeah, like... Well, no, but we'll keep the momentum from getting pushed by the by the Bumpty, right? So we'll just kind of go straight over it. We'll, we'll, we'll bounce off him and I would assume land on the saw. Okay, so we definitely don't just hold it. <laughs> I feel like this has to be a re-grab situation. But I re-grabbed there and it didn't work. Unlock the camera again? I can try it. Yeah, like, you can scroll it that way, but it doesn't do anything. I don't, it doesn't look like it does anything. And I don't think this would, you know, have, like, glitches or anything in it. <laughs> I'm re-grabbing, but nothing's happening. It's absolutely just me not understanding mechanics, I, I can tell you that for a fact. Ah, so we got a, we got quite a bit lower that time. Okay, what if we do... I unlocked the camera but didn't hit the muncher? I don't think that was true, was it? And now, the, now he's not spawning again, there he is. I don't think that's gonna- I don't think that's making a difference, Stun. I might be wrong. Oh yeah, a hundred percent, Kes. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're enjoying me have knowing no idea what I'm doing. Hmm. Well, let's give this a few more attempts and then we'll just move on. <laughs> I think we're already starting to run out of levels. This is about what you expected, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you hadn't, I would still be on the. I would still be on the first level. For no checkpoint. Do I want an idea of what to do? Yeah, sure. Give me a hint, I'll take a hint. Not that. Do I- is it like a big spin jump or a little spin jump? Or am I just completely going about this the wrong way? My entire idea is wrong, okay. Well, let's try this then. Is there something to the left? Okay, what if? Hang on. They don't want us to do. No. Wait, do they? Is that what we have to do? Oh god, it is, isn't it? Okay, well. I see. Oh, you've got, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> wow, all right. See, I was expecting we would have to do the big, you know, the big jump like this, because that's what we did to get up there. Now that I vaguely have an idea of what's going on. <laughs> ow! Ow! <laughs> ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just assumed that was what I had to do, because that's what we did to get up there, you know? That was cool. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, silently, you're just like, SMH, this guy. No idea what he's doing, oh my god. This guy, can't believe it. You would have done the same thing, yeah. So how do we, how do we learn, how in the world? Because <laughs> we're going to bump into the, the muncher. Wow. Okay. Whoops. Yeah, wow. I, I, I see the problem. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I can see. Oh god. I'll take a gamer tip if you're offering, yeah. Try the first jump to the left of the muncher. Right, so we want to jump out. Like this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That does make sense. No! Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. And then I just forgot what I was doing, because of course I did. Then I can't jump. It's fine, we're just, you know, just restart, it's fine. <laughs> oh, come on. Do the jump, Mario. I need you to do the jump. Uh, I don't know, Stun, what does he say? I just, I'm just forgetting what to do. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, we'll head there after the other ones. Or I could go now, I don't know. Yeah, that's right, yeah, I did say that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, stun riddle of the century right there. <laughs> what am I doing? All right, we get the we get the picture. <laughs> Kez, since I know it's late for you, uh, what would you like me to do? Do whatever level you want. You'll be up for a bit? Do cake? Alright. And now we get to the best song. I do think I probably like this song the most. You've got an hour in you? Okay. Alright, what do we got? Okay, yeah, sure. Excuse me? <laughs> Thank you for the cake. I actually worked out what the voice is saying here. I'm pretty sure it's good times for you. Because I looked up the soundtrack because I just wanted to listen to some of the songs for the lols. And he had the, uh, the SPC files, so I grabbed them and extracted some of the samples. And I'm pretty sure it says good times for you, so there you go. Now we know. It could also be cause I'm 14, yeah, right? Uh, acceleration stun. Is that what we have to do? Speed, yeah. Good time for you. Yeah, close enough. 
This feels like the right idea, but I feel like we need a tiny bit more movement speed. But as to how we get that is a very good question. <laughs> <Guess. laughs> Obviously we want to jump there. Oh, let's go. I didn't think I was going to make it. No. <laughs> Oh god. Surprise platform, yup. Ooh. So is there a different way to make the jump to that platform or is this basically just the idea? Oh god, the spikes. That's pretty much it? Yeah, I figured that was the case. Ah, please. I like this strings part. This strings part is really nice. Oh god. And then surprise, ha! Huh? <laughs> Cause he's 14, yeah, exactly. Yes, age aside, Kez definitely knows his stuff when it comes to Kaizo, can confirm. No, hit the switch! Oh god. All this facial hair at 14? Wow, imagine. Time to be a music nerd for a minute. I find this song really interesting from a composition standpoint. Because there's not really much actually musical in it. Like, <laughs> the only semblance of melody really is the like, like voice thing there. <laughs> and the only real like proper rhythmic element that gives you any sense of where the beat is, is the cake. <laughs> And I find that super interesting because I don't think there's even anything on beat one. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's nothing on beat one, so it's super weird. And I appreciate that it's super weird. Yeah, th these songs are really cool. They're so unconventional and different, but that's why I like it. That's why I think this game is really interesting. That's cool, because I think Wyatt said he wanted to make this, like... He wanted to make the music a focus, right? That's why he called it Casio. I, mean, I think that's really interesting. Come on. Yeah, you, got, you guys are both older than me. <laughs> Done, you know he's joking, right? <laughs> yeah. Although, again, pretty sure it's good time for you. Or Istanbul, yeah, as well. <laughs> Can we make the jump? I just want to hit the switch once. 
I did it, I hit the switch. Okay, I just want to get to the platform once. Oh yeah, the Haas are really interesting too, because they're just completely off time from the rest of the song. It's it's so wacky. Good time. Sounds like an anime grunt. It does a bit, doesn't it? Good time for Good time for you. We can all, we can all sing along. It's great. Oh god, how do you do this? <laughs> just jump. I know, like what's the problem? Just jump. If you just jump, you'll do it. So just jump. Just hit the switch, right? You just gotta hit the switch, like what's the problem? Ah. Please. <laughs> You have like a couple frames to, to jump off, I think. It's hilarious. You have to do it on that second bounce, I think. That was wrong. Yeah, it's super quick. Oh god. How far did camps get on this one, Kez? <laughs> oh, okay, she didn't play this one. Oh, jeez. Yeah, fair. Ah. Do we want to double back before we land on the ball and chain, I wonder? Before we land on the spike ball. This half is way easier than the second? Yeah, I remember you took a little while in the second half of this. Like, do we want to do that, or do we... Because I feel like if we just go, we're just going to hit the spike. Oh gosh, yeah, that's right. Alright, sh shall we move on? What do you think? Learning that one obstacle, yeah. That's right, that was like the first thing past the checkpoint, wasn't it? Bubbles? We can go to Bubbles. <laughs> Again, I'm glad you have such positivity, Stun, but I don't. <laughs> There's a couple obstacles past the checkpoint. It was the thing with the shell, right? You had to like, you had to kick the shell down that little shaft or something? Yeah. The shell on the ceiling, that's right. All right, <laughs> let's move on. Okay. Power of persuasion. I got close one time, yeah, but that's all right. Okay, this one. This is the one with the creepy music. How do we even do this? <laughs> So it just follows us, right? Yeah, it just follows us around, okay. How in the world? That diagonal spike section is the hardest part of the level, oh god. What's up left? I don't think there's anything there. We can check. It's just cut off. Come on, Bubble. Oh yeah, it is, he's right, alright. I'd put a secret over there. <laughs> How the hell do we do this? I have no idea. Is it literally just like... <laughs> find the right spot to start moving right? <laughs> yeah, there aren't any secrets in it, which is fine. They don't have to be. This is very much a... Uh, difficulty-focused... hack. See, that almost worked. Just kind of wait for it to get to us, maybe? Hmm. No, we're too high now. Unless... No. We have to find the right angle so we can get through that. Then we can bounce off and go up. See, we're, again, we're too high. So we have to find... 
Oh god, how the hell? <laughs> See, that's more the that's more the idea, but now we're too low. I think that's the right idea, though. Too high, too high. Ah. <laughs> this is not gonna work wait that's the right idea I feel like that's the right idea well no it's not because you've beaten it Kez <laughs> yes this is Super Mario World not Super Mario Maker <laughs> was I there for when you beat the second half of this I feel like I was Yeah, I don't either. Hey, let's go. Oh god, are you serious? What? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I did a Pogan chat at the end. That sounds like me. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. Yes. Then you explained. It does look hard. <laughs> And it probably would be hard for a noob like me. How did I do it that one time? Well, yeah, I mean, it's Kaizo. Everything's at least a little bit difficult. Holy crap. How? How? No, Kez has beat this one. Remember, this is his save file. <laughs> so it really is just a case of like... God, how do you line this up? Like, go from the start. Let's wait for it to get to us and then... <sighs> There's obviously some kind of way we can get this consistent, but I'd be darned if I could figure out what that is. See, like, that almost works, too. Look, I know I have to go between the spikes. Okay, what do we do now? Like, what do you do there? Do you just... Okay, hmm. What if we just jump immediately after we... After we get past? Would that get us high enough? Maybe. Ah, come on. No. It's kind of, it kind of feels like there's a, a speed we want to be going at. If that makes sense. Because the bubble moves with us, sort of. Hmm. Maybe we can press right a little more than I have been. <clears throat> Ugh, throat clearing, yay. Oh yeah, I have dropped a few. What happened there? 2,000 dropped frames. Ugh. Looks like they've stopped. Apologies for that. Uh, probably not. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Hmm. Don't worry, it's not like this is a totally serious stream anyway. <laughs> that works. That works. Hang on. H how did I do that? 
I kind of went... Hang on, so I went like that, and then... Hang on, how did I do that? You thought this was a speed run? Wow, it would be the worst speed run of all time if it was. It's been 80 hours, this guy's still on level 1. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> How did I do it before? I liked that way I did it that one time. It sort of went like that and then back and that worked. Hmm. Yeah, I totally would have tried that if I could. That one looked really interesting, and, and I would probably have no idea how to do it. Much like everything else so far, you know. <laughs> Was it really that bad? Like, <laughs> it, it looks like the kind of level that would be fun once you get the mechanics down. There we go, that's kind of the right idea. I guess the thing is, you don't really get a chance to get the mechanics down, huh? Yeah, hang on a minute. If we can get the bubble to speed up a little bit more, I think that's probably... a consistent way to get this. That's right, you did, <laughs> yeah. No, we go too fast. Hmm. I'm not quite 30, no. <laughs> Oh, is it? Yay. <laughs> Feels birthday man, I guess. There we go, I just kind of did it. Ah, the booze! Okay, we have to go through the booze. Oh god. <laughs> Thanks for the party pugs. Why is there a dry bones down there? Oh wait, don't you have to bounce off him? You don't use the bubble to get past that. I think you use the dry bones, right? I think I remember you doing that, Kez. How the hell do you do this consistently? <laughs> it feels like a lot of the... A lot of the stuff in this, it feels like there's just some obtuse thing that makes it consistent, if that makes sense. Like, I, I don't know how, I, how else I can explain it. There's like some, there's some obtuse thing you can do that makes it, you know, like an easier way to do it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably, I'm, I'm overcomplicating this. Hmm. Can we, because we can't just, it's like we can't just do that. Because then there's no bubble for us to bounce off of. You feel like they just cleared it once and said, Yup. Uh, to my understanding, the playtester took like 80 hours on this. <laughs> and I think the creator cleared it once himself, the whole game. Yeah.
Oh god. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm, I wonder actually. Ah, you know, that seems a bit easier, doesn't it? I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just difficult. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's poorly designed or anything like that. Yeah, I'm with you, Kez. I think this is much better. I like that a lot. There we go, that seems like a much better way to do it. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Definitely do not, definitely do not judge this game based off of my terrible <laughs> Kaizo skills. Skills, quote unquote. Oh yeah. I can tell. I haven't seen, like, I've seen quite a number of Kaizo hacks from Kez. I've seen Kez play a lot of stuff. This one, oh boy. <laughs> Like, you're what, 30, you're what, 30 hours? You got into 30 hours today? And you're still going? Like, it's only a nine exit hack. You know? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Let's give this a couple more goes, then we'll probably move on again to the water level, which will be the last one we can do, I think, right? Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Oh, you mean stun. Yeah, you did say that. <laughs> Why you say that, Stun? Because I know you like Mario Maker a lot. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely, Kez. Oh, God. Basically, all of these levels have been stuck on the first thing. <laughs> but, you know, I kind of wasn't expecting anything different. Ah. Hard can mean, yeah, hard can mean a lot of things. Difficulty doesn't have to be, like, you know, super fast stuff or super precise stuff. It can be a lot of different things. Could be a combination of those things, you know. That's why there's so many different, like, Kaizo hacks out there that focus on different mechanics and stuff like that, you know? Alright, should we move on? What do you think? Ah, jeez. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, I mean, difficulty in itself is up to a player's, you know, level of skill. Like, Kez, you'd probably resident sleeper your way through <laughs> Quickie World 2. 
Yeah, let's go to the next level. Jumping off a pink bubble that gives you a tiny millimeter of space to do it. I mean, that's true, but again, like I've been saying for this entire hack, there's probably just some obscure setup that I don't, that I wouldn't know how to figure out. Yeah, like, I'm a Kaizo noob, you know? So we absolutely can't go into these? What was it in the original game? L and R start or something? Hmm, seems like a no. That's sad. Aww. It's just spin jump on it, move to the right. I figured it was. There's probably just some, like, angle or trajectory for it that I needed to figure out, would be my guess. Anyway, I think we've got one level left to try. Love in the time of, I assume that's pronounced... Lexapro? I don't even know what that word means, to be honest, but... <laughs> let's, let's see. So how does this work? So you get one swim, right? Yeah. I hold up, I do a really big jump. It's an antidepressant. Oh, okay. Huh. <laughs> if I hit down... If, okay, so if I stop holding up, do I stop gaining height? I think so. Oh sure, stun, but I mean this is an inherent this is an inherently weird hack. Have you listened to this music? <laughs> it's trying to work out. So we have So we have like down swimming as well, right? Okay. So if I so how do we get past this guy to start? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a huge part of it, in fact, I would say. Like, not everything needs to be, this is what you do. You know, I kind of like that aspect sometimes of figuring out how to use the mechanics to, to figure out what to do, you know? I kind of like that aspect of Kaizo. So I'm guessing we want to start swimming right as he hits the bottom. And again, you were saying you were talking about this today, Kez. I'm holding Y when I don't need to. <laughs> it's just habit, I think. Hmm. Makes you feel better, exactly. Oh, we can't. Okay, okay. Hang on. Maybe I'm, I'm hitting down too early. Yeah, that- oh, is that gonna work? Hmm. Because if I hit it too early, we're gonna bump into him, of course. Unless we can do- this would be a bit dumb, but... No, that's not gonna work, is it? Heh <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I just beat it? <laughs> it's not gonna happen, but wouldn't it be funny if I did? <laughs> you don't wanna do it when he's coming towards you. I think you do, actually, because I, I think you want to kind of arc around him, if that makes sense. You got, there you go. Okay, how in the world? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I... Yeah, and he was coming towards us. That's what I did. I'm just going to... I think I'm starting my swim too late. And it's just a, it's a matter of when I hit down, as well. It's a matter of timing when I start the swim and when I hit down to stop my, to stop me gaining height. 
So by the way, if you aren't if you aren't aware, you only get one swim. I'm pretty sure I said that before, but just just so we all know, you only get one swim. It's basically like you kind of have a moon jump in a sense. If you could just swim normally, this would probably be way easier. Just swim to the end, yeah, right? Oh god, yeah, okay. Yeah, I see why this sucks. I immediately see why this sucks. <laughs> This looks so easy, but... <laughs> yeah, it's a lot more pressing up and down than, than, I, than what it looks like from just watching it. And it didn't help that we couldn't see your input display, Kez, because that would have... I don't know, it probably would have made it, you know, look a bit trickier, I guess. If you watch closely, the time is when the thing comes around like halfway. Like that. Yeah, you're right. Someday you'll have an input display again. Someday, right? Hold up. Ah. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? I think I remember you talking about it in one of our, like, uh, in one of my early Mega Man streams. <laughs> I don't know why I remember these random things sometimes. Yeah, so that time we hit the jellyfish. Man, that is actually, <laughs> like, again, it's a very specific timing. There we go. Go like that. Wow. <laughs> it's so, it's so simple. Just, like, just do it. Like, what's the problem? You just gotta do it, you know? I can 100% appreciate you being able to do this stuff consistently, Kez. <laughs> like, man. Like, here's me struggling on the first part of every level. And you're over here beating them? What a, what a champ. That kind of sounded facetious. It, it wasn't supposed to be. I'm being serious. Yeah, I know, right? Imagine playing a lot of Kaizo. <laughs> yeah, he's a Kaizo dude, stun. Is what he plays. And he's real good at it. Have you actually... Have you tried any Kaizo stuff before, stun? I'm curious. Yeah, who knows, right, Kez? Like, you might as well retire once you've beaten this, right? Like, seriously. <laughs> you've peaked. You'll have peaked. Holy crap, how? <laughs> That's ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's absolutely a case of it looking much easier than it is, Kez. I mean, I'm just glad I bounced off the first Cooper. I'll take that as a win. Oh, absolutely. There has, you have to find this this whole hack feels like 
a puzzle to figure out how to make these weird obstacles consistent. That's what it feels like. And I kind of like that, <laughs> but also it kind of feels kind of pretty obtuse. But again, this is coming from someone who doesn't have a lot of Kaizo experience. Maybe you saw like, you know, setups that I haven't seen, you know? The absolute worst thing for consistency in the entire game was in the bubble level. Okay. Uh, one sec. There we go. Um, you make hard ass little Kaizo light levels. Call it a day. It's not something you do every day. That's fair enough. What did you say earlier, Stun? You know how to shell jump and press all the buttons. It's not a sport for you, that's fair. If you're not a fan of it, you don't have to be, you know? It's not- it, Kaizo's certainly not for everyone, you know? Hmm. <laughs> Let's give this a couple more attempts where we get past this dude. And then we'll probably call it a stream there. Yeah, it really is like, when do you press down? Yeah, I'm just pretending that I... Yeah, I'm just pretending I don't know what I'm doing, actually. Oh, jeez, that is... Yeah, wow. That sucks. <laughs> you have a visual for that first Koopa, really? I guess, like, the thing I'm wondering, how, would, how do you even, like, spot visuals for that kind of stuff, if that makes sense? Like... Because, you know, you, you first of all, you have to hit the swim, you have to hold up so that you go out a certain amount, and then you have to hit down to stop going so high, and you have to do all of that. And you have, like, a visual setup for that? Like, wow, you know? Like, wow, that's, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Whoops, that was wrong. Also, I wonder, is it possible to hit that message box up there? Seems like a no. I wonder why it's there. Yeah, I didn't think it was. I wonder what it says. <laughs> you have to do them on the fly, yeah. Oh, it's there to teach you because, like, you try to hit it. That makes sense. That actually does make a lot of sense, yeah. Right, yeah, that's clever. Clever level design. You feel like you could precision this whole thing? Well, I mean, you still need setups for that kind of stuff. Me too. I love it when games do that. When it's not like, here's a big old text box telling you the controls. Let's put you in an area where you need to learn those controls to, to progress, you know? Like Zelda and Metroid do that kind of thing pretty often where like you'll get an item in a room and then you need to use that item to get out of the room or something like that, you know? Pfft, imagine not holding jump. Can you not go over the top? Well, I mean... I would say no. <laughs> Definitely looks like a no to me. Like, why would he put that down there if you could just go over the top? You tried out of curiosity? Yeah. I still find it funny that... These four, these four little blue blocks here stop you from progressing and you have to go beat like four other levels. <laughs> it's kind of funny.
Yeah, because you can't keep swimming. Let's give this one more try where we get past this guy. Oh, come on. Yeah, it definitely isn't. You're right about that. Oh, how does that... I have no idea. Like, it feels like guesswork as to when you stop holding jump or holding up or hitting down. Like, wow. It's kind of like, here you go, figure it out, you know? Wow, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Maybe we should call it a stream there, shall we? This was kind of fun to go through, and I now understand why this hack is bloody hard. <laughs> I now appreciate your Kaizo skill even more than I already did, Kez. GG on getting as far as you have already, like good lord. I don't know how you beat this stuff. <laughs> Seriously, man. It's it's crazy. I'll, yeah, never in a million years would I be able to... Honestly, probably even beat like the first level of this game. Like, no way. Yeah, I'm good for the night. This was all I really wanted to do. Just try this out, see how horrible it is. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll call it here. Ah. Let's see, there's only the two of you. Uh, yeah, I don't really feel like raiding. We'll probably just call it there. Thanks a lot for hanging out, you guys. I know it's super late for both of you, so I thank you guys for hanging out. I was actually thinking about it. I might go back and try some of the first level, see if I can do anything. I don't know. I was thinking I might actually do that, Kez. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. I do appreciate it a lot. Um, And yeah, I'll see you when I stream next, whenever that'll be. Who knows? But yeah, take it easy, guys. Thank you for hanging out. See you around.